What's going on, everybody? So, I have a few things to do. However, it was brought to my attention that I should probably do a Pisces update. I think the last time I did a Pisces update might have been last year, maybe even longer. Um, maybe it was around springtime, as a matter of fact. I was actually in my purple robe, my secret houses robe. Um, so, I'm going to get into that right now. Um, and the way that I'm going to do this, I'm going to phrase it as the Pisces update for the first quarter of 2019. And I'm not going to speak about all of the aspects. There are a lot of aspects occurring right now and more to come. Um, now, you can refer to the previous video that I did about Pisces man and Aquarius woman, although I know that's probably not what you want to do because this is a Pisces thing and I get that. I understand that. However, I discussed a lot of the aspects there and still didn't discuss all of them. I am going to talk about some planetary aspects in this video, though, and I'm also going to tell a story because so that rather you can see how the planets manifest through me. And this is something that happened just recently. Right. And the reason why I'm talking about these particular aspects is because things are huge for Pisces right now. They're huge. And I want you to emphasize or at least get the information to help you and assist you emphasize these planetary placements right now other people may not understand because you will experience it different than them because you're a pisces if they are other signs however at least if they even if they see this they can understand where you're coming from and that can help the whole equation right so let me get right into it right now for pisces jupiter and venus is inside of the sign of sagittarius but it's in our 10th house so that deals with our career right what we recognize for our relationships with authority figures, government and all, corporate, everything, parents, father, mother, all of that, right? It might be father instead of mother, um, but you get what I'm saying, right? You get the drift. Um, but our status, right? Also where our ambition lies. Now, with two, both money planets are here right now. Both money planets are here, Jupiter and Venus. So I first want to say this, right? Just because... Um, you're doing something in your career it does not mean you're automatically going to get rich or very wealthy or accumulate wealth just because it's your 10th house. In fact, you may fare well doing work inside of your 6th house more because it's like something that is guaranteed to be there, like your routine work job or whatever the case may be. 10th house, a lot of the times, deals with something that you're so passionate about that you'll do it without pay just to make sure that it'll build and turn into something that is huge. Right? That's what 10th house status and recognition is about which you're renowned for right so um with both money planets being here though it's like come alive pisces come alive because now you want to see where is the money the money is right there but where do you have to go to get it and if you want to know where it is that you have to go to get it you look at mars because Mars is action, activity, energy, where your ambition is, where your desires are, Pisces. And Mars right now is in your second house. Now, before I get deep into the second house, which deals with personal finances and materialistic attitude, right? I want to talk about the 11th house very briefly. The 11th house is about networks and groups that help bring things into fruition, especially your dreams and your wishes that you want to come true, right? It also deals with corporate revenues and stuff like that. Now, there's a stellium occurring in the 11th house for Pisces. There's a stellium occurring for every sign, but for Pisces, it's in our 11th house. So this tells me automatically, this told me automatically, I want to build with my networks, my, my networks, my group of people that assist me in doing what I do. So we got Saturn there, which is work ethic and everything, right? It also comes with delay. So as much as I want to work, 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 Saturn may say, look, okay, I get it. I understand. Sit down for a second. Just chill for a second. Can you chill for a second? Which it did. It made me sit back and ponder. You know what I mean? Sit down. Have a drink or something. Like, just sit down and chill for a minute. You just did a whole lot. Right? Now, we can't forget, though, though, this Mercury is there as well. We got Pluto there as well. And we got the Sun there as well. So, what Pluto there is like, look, personal power. That's what Pluto was about. It's also about transformation and survival methods, right? So survival methods, I mean, you can be full of power and maybe not use it, right? Just know you're powerful, so you sit on your throne. Like, I'm, I'm more powerful. Can't nobody touch me. 
but fail to move because you're so powerful you think that nothing can be taken from you right so Pluto also deals with the process of elimination sometimes when you have power you have to use it okay so here I am and all Pisces are sitting with all of these planets in the 11th house you got power what are you doing with it so I automatically know I want to my main primary focus is to assist my groups and networks inside of my 11th house the best way that I possibly can because I know the network brings the net worth right show me who you hang out with show me who you're with and I'll show you I'll tell you if you're going to make it or not I'll tell you if you're going to be successful or not and to what extent you know success is measured by all types of different levels depending on what you determine success to be but for me I know what I want and my desire I know what I desire so Mars being in the second house again we're going to get to that but I want to put the emphasis on the 11th house because that is what's going to bring more and with both money plans planets inside of the 10th house of career it's trining these planets both of them are trining Mars inside of the second house right now so anything that happens with a trine means it can happen with ease and luck is going to fall right into your lap which something just fell in my lap like minutes ago like about an hour ago I'm still building on it right now you see what I'm saying so with this happening I'm looking how to take these money planets and apply them with the ease and luck right they say follow the path the path excuse me with less resistance so obviously there's going to be something that falls into my lap between these two money planets and Mars being inside of my second house but this is going to activate all Pisces materialistic attitude what is it that you like what is it that you want at the same time Pisces this is it this is time right even if you want to buy something you got the money you're probably going to go buy it however the individual how this fares out and how this plays out is going to depend to depend on your materialistic attitude how you view and perceive money are there different types of money or is it just green cash are you into bitcoin and bitcoin only are you a truther or a preparer should i say that says you know what i'm just stocking up on dry foods and a bus ticket or a plane ticket or something you know what i mean like what is your materialistic attitude all of this is going to come into play however Again, I must stress that whatever you address in this manner is going to fall right into your lap. Let's not forget, though, that there is a square between Saturn and Mars. All right. Now, if you look at my Pisces man and Aquarius woman, I told you this is not one of those aspects to fear. This is the one to actually work on because it basically suggests if you are facing something right and i told you my situation is i'm facing i want to get more and address my networks and my groups with what i obtain because i know even if i got to invest it back i know that this is going to bring more right that's my attitude anyway I, let's let's leave i know out of it right i don't know let's say i don't know anything my attitude my materialistic attitude and my approach to the 11th house, which is in Capricorn for Pisces, right? So everybody who says the hoopla about Pisces needs Capricorns or Pisces need this herb sign in order to be this, which is definitely a benefit. Don't get me wrong. If you got some Virgos and you got some Capricorns and you got some official Tauruses on your side, it's great. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying if you approach things, if a Pisces approach things in a business aspect in their solar chart, you will see how Capricorn being in your 11th house will ground you. You have no other alternative if you want to be if you want to be sustainable in business anyway. Right. So there's a square between Mars and Saturn, which suggests whatever you're facing, address it, address it, Pisces. So. Any other time that you've been lackadaisy, you've been passive aggressive, right? And you've been letting things slide and you've been doing other things. You've been working on this. You've been working on that. You've been dispersed. You haven't been fully on the scene on certain things. If you're facing something right now, address it. And you will see how it will bring positive solutions to the things that you're facing. And if you don't do it, you may have this. You may be sitting with this stuttering and almost bitter sense. And you don't want to be bitter. Bitter is like the worst. It's probably the worst thing to be. You don't want to be bitter. You know what I mean? And you also don't want to be stubborn to the point where you're stuck with a, what is that word, calamity or something like that? Where you're, 
you're stuck with a situation that you did not have to be stuck with had you been and been flexible. You understand what I'm talking about? So this is a positive, this is a positive aspect when you take action. Take action with the Mars on your personal attitude. Now, the story is story time. I'm about to tell a story. And before I say it, I'm not encouraging all Pisces to go out there and start being wild and start doing things that might get yourself in trouble. However, I must tell you this story flat out because I just got into some shit today. You know what I'm saying? And it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So it's not terrible, though. So I'm going to tell you the story. All right. Um, also, before I get into the story, I want you to know that the moon is in Pisces. It's in it's, probably, it's leaving and going into Aries very soon. It's at the height of Pisces. So we are impacted. We feel it even more. And that's why I got the request like a few minutes ago. Like, yo, let's do this. And then I got I've been talking to a Pisces for like the past three, four hours before I press record on this. So you can feel you can sense the Pisces in the air. Right. Um, but it's sextile, which presents an opportunity between the sun, between Pluto. You understand what I'm saying? So that personal power, that transformation, that that likes and dislikes, that whole vitality of the sun being there is an opportunity to do this. Whatever it is that you're about to act on is pretty much what I'm saying. Your mind is going to be coherent. Now, mind you, I'm not the most emotional person. Right. And I stepped into this situation and I'm about to tell a story about not emotional at all. Until I got there, I used a bit of emotion. I did. I did. I got rubbed entirely the wrong way. And I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, before I even get to this full story, I want to tell you, I tried this before. Uh, one time I went in a Dunkin' Donuts and I'm standing online. And, you know, I'm a Pisces. I, 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 some things just don't matter to me, right? But this is one day I was practicing. So this person gets in front of me on the Dunkin' Donuts line. I'm standing online. It's evident I'm online. This person walks in front of me. I might have been staring. I was staring off at my phone. person walks in front of me and orders their stuff. Right now, any other time, because I was busy doing something else, I probably just be like, well, you know, whatever. I I had time, you know what I'm saying, and I had time at this particular time. But just because I said, yo, man, what you cut in front of me for? You see me standing right here, right? What if I smacked? It? You know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, oh my god, and he started bugging, right? <laughs> and I'm playing, but I'm not smiling or anything. Nothing. I'm very like you just look at like I was very <laughs> serious. If you don't know what's going on, right? So he was like, "Please, I'm sorry. You're very right. Like I should have did, did this, that, and the third. He apologized. Kept apologizing. I'm like, all right. Now I didn't tell him not. Go ahead. I I went and got my spot back. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Playing the whole entire time, but I was. This is how sometimes I study with the stars. So this is what happens, right? Now I'm getting to the story. I had a business proposition set up. Um, I spoke, I had a meeting, I had a conference on the phone with these people and I told them that I was, I told them that I had some merchandise and if they were willing to buy it or whatever the case may be, let me know. You know what I mean? Talk to me. Now, mind you, this, I wouldn't call them professionals, but this place of business advertises themselves to, you know, partake in this type of business that I'm presenting an opportunity for them for. Right. So but I do not know these people. This is my first time dealing with them. So I'm speaking with them on the phone. I get the breakdown. This that, and the third. Now I'm talking in regards to the things that are advertised on their website. Please pay attention. This is important. And I want you to carry this lesson into your own lives and your own behavior. And perhaps you may want to address these types of things, too, because you have to. So you don't get no short end of the stick, whatever the case may be liberate yourself in the process and show people teach other people lessons too right so this company advertises themselves in a way that has my mind set on what it is that i'm going to do and it's not going to be an opportunity that i present to them that is astray from what they market you understand what i'm saying i don't like cheating people out of business i don't i like making the best fair deals that i possibly can so that we will be happy to the point that we can continue doing business there's enough money for all of us to eat. That's my attitude. It's my materialistic attitude, right? So we talk on the phone, and it's to the point where we've already came to the conclusion that this is a go, okay? This is a confirmation on the phone, and they're like, hey, you know what? Take your time. We're open to such and such and such. Because I was up early, ready to do it, and I'm like, all right, cool. It's a go. Then I, I'm going to take a little hour or two, whatever the case may be. So I, I fully researched 
this site. I fully researched the merchandise that was being, you know, held, um, handed over for a transaction. So I fully came in the door knowing everything that I needed to know, right? I always do. So I get there, right? And the first person that I speak to is not the person that I spoke to on the phone. I can tell by the accent. So this guy... I present to him the merchandise, and he's like, nah, man, we, we, we can't do this. We can't do this. So I'm like, what What do you mean we can't do what? You know what I mean? But I can hear in the tone of his voice that this is not the guy that I spoke to on the phone. At this point, I'm still kind of calm, but I'm really not as calm as I did coming in the door. Right? But mind you, hold on. I left this part out. Before I got through the door, I'm coming through the hallway, right? I'm coming through the corridor, and there's other businesses inside of this building. So when I'm the business that I get to before getting to their business is a gold spot. They exchange bullion. Key word here, bullion. I'm gonna put you onto a secret that I haven't ever any told told anyone, right? But I'm gonna put you onto this right now. Um, they distribute and you know they exchange bullion. Bullion is gold. So the logo, right? And this is why I have the asterisk sitting next to the Taurus sign. For Pisces inside of our third house. The logo for this is a bull. Now, mind you, bull yin stems from the word bull. And bull comes from the bull market. In the economy, Wall Street, you connect the dots, right? So, before this... No, I'll, tell, I'll talk about my dream after I tell the story. All right, I just want to put that in there real quick. Key, key component here. So, I get to the building i'm having this quarrel already start this quarrel with this guy who's not the guy that i spoke with on the phone but he's I, I should say he's positioned as he's the boss because of the seat that he was sitting in and the office that he was positioned in so i'm like okay this is the boss i must have been speaking to the uh either worker or assistant or maybe even henchman i'm gonna get to that right so he just stands up and he's like nah man we can't do this we can't do this and i'm like what do you mean we can't do this? So I wanted him to clarify, like, what do you mean we can't do this? We can't do what? At the level or the extent that you want to, that we agreed to do it? Or are you trying to say we're not doing this at all? He's like, nah, man, we're not doing this because of some reason that was not, I don't want to put the full business out there, but it was something that was not relative to what he advertised on his site. So pretty much what I'm saying is what he advertised on his site you are obligated to do business with me now based upon that. This is nothing illegal. This is all legal stuff. So you have to do this deal now. You understand what I'm talking about? So this is what I started telling him. Like, yo, listen. Now I'm like, listen, you could have told me that on the phone. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come down here to not do business. Like, this is not going to happen. Like, you're going to have to change your attitude, your tone. Something is going to have to give. So I start talking to him like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, he comes back with a rebuttal and he says, he gives me an offer after that. And he says, well, no matter of fact, first he says, you know, this is not the greatest time for this right now because this, that, and the third. I said, I don't care about the time. I care about what you advertise, what you said this goes for, and this is why I'm here. And here it is. Here's the merchandise, clear as day. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, and you know it is. So you're going to take this off of my hands. You understand what I'm talking about? Mind you, I'm going all out because I, I know where my money signs are, and I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do with the money and everything. You know what I'm saying? So now he presents an offer to me, but he lowballs me. And while he's lowballing me, he's not looking at me. He's not giving me eye contact. So I'm like, yo, look, dude, you playing funny right now. I said, yo, where's the person I spoke to on the phone, man? I said, because I can tell it's not you. And I said, I don't know if you're a boss or you think you're a boss. Like, I don't know what you think right now or you think that you're better than me in some type of way. Like, you don't insult my intelligence right now. He's like, yo, what you talking about? And I said, you know what I'm talking about. I said, you know this is worth way more than what you're trying to offer me right now. Like, don't talk to me like I'm nobody, B. So he like, yo... What are you saying? Like, where did you get this information from? I said, you want me to show you? I said, watch out. Like, so now I'm like, I'm damn near slapping this dude in his face. Like, I'm this close to, like, slapping him. But I'm like, yo, watch out. You want me to show you? Like, I'm ready to grab his computer and show him in his face. Like, but I can tell he's not stupid. He knows what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So he was seeing my behavior getting a bit erratic. So then he calls his man. He's like, yo, 
can you talk to him? Blah, 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 blah. Right? So he calls his man. His man talks to me. He's like, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Now I hear his man's voice. This is the dude I spoke to on the phone. Right? So I'm like, look, man. Matter of fact, ain't it you that I spoke to on the phone? I spoke to you on the phone. I said, yo, why? Your boy? I said, your boy trying to play me. He said, nah, man. He not, nah, nah. And then he started explaining to me how things were going and things were operating. I said, yo, look. You should have told me that when I was on the phone with you. You confirmed that this is going down when I was on the phone with you. So guess what? I'm here now. So this is going to happen. This is something that's going to happen. I'm not leaving here until this happens. Like, don't get me wrong. No, a thought crossed my mind. You know what? Just leave it because I know I could have got it handled somewhere else or whatever the case may be. That's not the point, though. It's the principle of first how these dudes were false advertising because I'm long story short, I walked out of there with not the exact money that I came down there to get. I did. But this is what I mean about the whole Mars and Saturn square. Like if you're stubborn to the point to where you can't be flexible, that you're that rigid, that you let Saturn completely take over to the point where you're rigid and you say, you know what, this is just no deal, period, right? And you just walk out. You know, you get you leave with nothing. Then you kinda like failed your mission. And Mars is a mission planet. We're on a mission here. So I'm breaking it down. So I'm like, yo, did you hear the price he just offered me? Your man trying to lowball me. Like, he's trying to play me. And he like, yo, listen, he's just doing his job. I said, I bet. I said, he's not doing his job. I said, he's trying to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? That's not doing your job. He's he's trying to belittle me. Like, he's he thinks it's a game or something. I said, but yo, I spoke to you on the phone. You know what I'm saying? So this deal is going to happen. So I gave him my offer, right? He was like, well, how much you want? How much you want? I said, I want this. He went back to his man. They tried to talk it out, try to talk it out. His man tried to, like, his man was just a complete. And look, I'm not even personalizing this, right? And I want you to understand this, too. This is not something that you personalize, right? If you look at things, oh, should I? I'm not telling you what to do, right? But if you have a type of perspective to where you view the planets being manifest through people, you can look at it as like you don't have to take this personal that this is just a scene that must be acted out because of where the planets are. Like, I don't know what signs those dudes were. I do know where the aspects of the planetary placements were, though. So obviously the money is involved with Jupiter and Venus being there. You understand what I'm talking about? So what happened now next, right, is the dude that I talked to on the phone, he felt me. He was like, all right. This dude is serious. Like, I kept pacing back and forth. I was loud. I was erratic. Like, you could tell, like, something might have even occurred. Like, I'm saying, again, I'm saying I'm not encouraging you to behave like this. How, however, who knows? You know what I'm saying? As I said before, sometimes you just got to put on when things are lined up this way because, because of what your desires are, because of what you set out to do. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm not telling you to go beat nobody up or threaten nobody, but... Just listen to the rest of the story, right? So dude brings me to the back now, and he's showing me how they got a surplus of this, that, and the third, and he's telling me, breaking down their whole business regimen and everything. So now I'm soaking up game, right? Now I'm using my Mercury inside of Capricorn, and I'm, I'm listening to everything he says, and I'm looking around, and I'm like, He's, I said, I said, so why are y'all even in business? Like, why do y'all have all of this stuff if y'all just sitting on it? Y'all can't even sell it. I'm like, but then I started shut up. I started to shut up, right? Because it just clicked in my mind, like, oh. Because they asked me, like, yo, do you want to buy some stuff? I was like, why would I buy stuff from y'all? I'm here to sell y'all stuff. I said, I can get this stuff by the truckload. Why would I buy? And then I stopped again, and I said, yo, you know what? They just gave me the game. So to make a long story short, again, they told me their business. I already know what type of business they're in, but they told me how their business is faring right now. And I'm like, yo, all this time I'm making deals, trying to come down here and make deals with these dudes. They just gave me the blueprint. Like I'm about to go into business and do exactly what these dudes do and make more money than they're making. And I will not be sitting on all of this merchandise that they were sitting on a lot of stuff. Again, I'm not going to tell you who these people are or where the shop is located and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I peeped game. I soaked it up. I'm like, well, I'm going into business. Now I'm telling myself, like, I'm about to take these dudes' business. You know, I don't know why they're sitting on so much stuff, but that part is none of my business. So now when he or he offered me more money than 
the, the first dude offered me, right? And he's like, yo, I'll do it for this. So I try to up him again. You know what I'm saying? Negotiation is going down. So I'm like, yo, listen, come on, give me this much. And he's like, nah, I'll give you this much. I'm like, yo, give me this much. He's like, nah, I'll give you this much. So I'm like, all right, I'll take that much. You know what I'm saying? Because now at this point, I got the message. I'm not really getting lowballed to the point where even if they think they lowballed me at this point, because I got the lesson there. I said, oh, light bulb went off. I can take this back to what I do, incorporate it with what I do, and make a killing. So I said, all right, let me get that. Boom. I got it. I stepped out. They paid me. You know what I'm saying? And on the way out, I seen this lady walk by. And she walked through the corridor and she went into the room where they were selling gold at with the bullion, with the Taurus logo, right? So let me tell you why this makes even more sense to me. Two days before I went to have this meeting, um, I had a dream and I was inside of a house, a house that is sentimental to me in some type of way. I went, nah, sentimental is the wrong word, but it, it just brings memories back to me, this house that I was in. And I was speaking with a bank teller. And this bank teller was um, talking to me with, she must have had about seven at least gold chains on her neck. You follow me? Gold bullion. All right, so make the connection. She had about seven gold, it stood out. When I, I know this way, this lady, I know this woman. You understand? Not ever have I seen her with that much gold on, right? So, but in the dream, she has gold on her neck or whatever the case may be. Dripping. I mean, she's dripping like Ric Flair drip. Now, she's with a younger woman who bends over for whatever reason, um, bends over and she's like showing me her mouth, her teeth and everything. And I'm like, okay, I'm looking at her teeth and everything and then. And the bank teller is like telling me like, yeah, okay, well, when you do this, that, and the third, you know, uh, this one would like this and this one would like this. So she's basically like telling me to get different types of jewels and jewelry for people in her family. So this can be symbolic. If you skilled on dreams and stuff like that, Pisces, of course, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that I am have to go out and get actual jewelry for her family members. It could be that I go get the treasure for family and family related values or whatever the case may be and north node is in cancer right now western astrologers so just make all of these connections you know what i'm saying so this is the dream i had two days before this so i started connecting the dots and everything now boom this is a bank that i deal with in some type of form or fashion so i'm like okay i'm going to put emphasis on my dealings with this bank and build on that because it's going to result into gold bullion right so if I do go back to this building, it's probably going to be on that type of attitude. And even if not, the symbology, the signals were there to show me what's more important. So another reason why I bring this up, right, is because in the solar chart for us, Pisces, Taurus lies in the sun in our third house, which deals with communication, but it also deals with learning. I'm more concerned with learning than it deals with communication and community. But community is a very strong factor here because the bank that I deal with is inside of the community. And if you see where all of the planets are now, eventually these planets are going towards our third house, Pisces. So you understand what I'm getting at right here? Now, all of this lesson stuff would not have been discovered had I not moved my feet, had I not took action. You understand what I'm talking about? These opposites. So again, it's a trine between the money and my actions and it fell right in my lap because i decided to move my feet yeah i got shorted a few dollars in the deal sure i had to get a bit hype with these dudes and let them know i'm not fucking playing and shit you know what i'm saying to get just even more than what they tried to lowball me with initially you know what i'm saying and yeah i, I bought the money back home and i got plans with it like people that i deal with they already know what's up you know what i'm saying so With that being said, you got to be paying attention. And I mean, you don't have to. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. However, it behooves you to be aware of these types of things, of this type of energy. You know, and it's, it's nothing to really even fear because it's like, again, this first dude, 
he wasn't giving me eye contact. So I'm, I kind of got the feeling that it wasn't going to be that type of thing anyway. But um, it's like, how can I explain it? Um, I can't. If I explain it right now, it's going to take so much away from this video that I'm not even going to do that because it's going to dilute the message here. But perhaps in another dream video, I'll explain to you exactly what I mean about performing or taking action when certain things are aligned a specific way. You understand what I'm saying? But what I'm telling you is that, yo, look, the the main thing here is none of this would have been discovered had I not moved my feet and took action. So this even goes for the people who procrastinate and stuff like that. Like when Mars was in Pisces, how did y'all feel, Pisces? Like people, you know, you might have got a bad rap for procrastinating or not taking enough action. I know for me it was like, no, not in Pisces. When Mars is even more, when Mars is in Aquarius, because that's our 12th solar house, right? How did that feel? Like, that's a part that affected me to the point where I was like, people might think that I'm supposed to be out on the scene right now. And I got a little hints of that, like, where are you at? And, you know, I haven't seen you or, you know, keep doing your thing. And it's standing there and it's like, they didn't understand. And like, I got a Mars in the 12th house in Italy. Like, it's like, they did not understand. And it's not even really worth telling people sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because it might fly right over the head. But when you know, you know. You know when you move or should move and not supposed to move. Like, this is plain as day. It's a trine. Money, planets, and Mars. Move. Move on the money. Find them. You got showed it a few dollars. So what? Did you get something? You got some money? Right. What did you learn in the process? Sometimes a learning experience will bring you more money than you have in your pocket. Will bring you more money that you're, than you're seeking. You got both of them there. So this is the secret. I ain't even tell you the secret yet. Right? But this is the secret. And I, I want to leave you with this. The secret is this. Venus. When you think about money sometimes, you may think about gold, silver, you know, gold, bullion, silver, fiat currency. Um, the list goes on, especially these days. Digital currency. You know what I mean? The root word or the root definition for Venus as far as money goes in astrology, and when you read astrology stuff, it says it represents earning potential, right? Earning potential. So a lot of the times, some people can easily get confused and think that they're supposed to be uh, maybe aggressive, when it comes to obtaining the money, when they see where Venus is placed, when in all actuality it stems from first interaction, which means with two people or more, and how your ear receives the information that is being given to you because it's called earning potential. So a lot of the times in the English language, the hint or the clue is put right inside of the word. This happens to be one of those types of opportunities. Earning, the word earning, earn, begins with the word ear. So it's really about how well you can hear. Pisces, you're great listeners, aren't you? You understand what I'm saying? So, again, connect the dots with the story I just told. I walked out of there, I feel like I'm a champion. Little do they know. I'm about to be cutting into their business. Now, I'm not going to go, yeah, I am cutthroat like that. They're running a business. I can't call them professional now, though. And that's flat out. Like, I'm not apologizing for that. Like, these dudes, what they advertise on their website and everything, that's not what they do. That's not what they do. That's not how they're giving it up. That's not how they're getting down. However, I'm not going to go on Yelp and put them on blast. I'm just going to take their business. You know what I'm saying? So... How can I complain or how, remember I said with the whole square between Mars and Saturn, had I not looked at this in a positive way, I'd have been stubborn. I'd have probably walked out of there with the merchandise. Who knows how long it took me to get it off. If I even looked at things in a positive way after that, you know what I mean? I might have just sat on it, just mad and nah. Because I realized I used that Mercury intelligence quickly and I said, oh, 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 connected the dots, all the symbols, bing, 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 bing. Awareness. To be aware is to be alive.
made all of those connections. You know how much money is in the in the lesson. What they say, pay attention and you'll hardly end up paying anything, right? The ear, earning potential. Be good listeners if you can. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. If you can, be a good listener. All right, Pisces, I'm out. Everybody, whatever, get in the comment box, whatever, whatever. All right, <laughs> love, y'all.